uh, it's been a constant learning pro process for me. Um, and th that's what, what I think science should be about. So, so this is what I should seek. For young PhD students, what, what would be your advice to them that are sort of entering in this field of science? Um, with all these graduate programs, at least in Germany, I mean, there's, there's sort of a sense that it's, you're just extending your education time. And, and there's a lot of expectations uh, from students, I, I can sense, were towards the supervisors. Uh, and, and a PhD students need to understand it's now them to drive the research. So they can be critical about the project they are given. Oh, definitely. They should right. ask questions. Right. And, and I mean, they, they should be the ones to drive the project. Yeah. And for postdocs? Um, for postdocs, um, I would still say, at least for German postdocs, it's, it's good to, uh, to go abroad. Um, it's perhaps also good to change fields. Uh, not entirely. I mean, I've, um, I've, I've done this myself, which, uh, which has been challenging. And what about for young group leaders that are just starting out in their career? So I would say, um, put reputation and high quality research before the impact factor. I think it's, a, it's important that we publish in high-profile journals, but, but it's even more important if you build your own group and if you start your lab, that you get known in your field and that you make similar contributions to your field. And that's, that's something you do by publishing high-quality research. But well, my other advice would be to uh, identify mentors and talk to them about your research. Um, it is true that if you join a field, I mean, you're, the more senior people will see you as a competitor. But at the same time, and most of the, the senior people I know, uh, they want to foster their own fields, and they need fresh blood in their field, and that will come with, through young people.